most exciting moment as I am being witted to buggery by two young chanty wrestlers. Oh, oh, actually, taking a kicking now has become a, a lively social event. And the reason is simple. Because one young bum is tweeting what he's doing on Twitter, and the other is recording my discomfort for YouTube. Oh! What can I change you call this? M Mr Nesbitt regrets that he was unavoidably detained on alcohol business. Give me the lecture. No lecture. Right. In the past, you'd have read me the right act and then handed me a fork so I could pick my balls up off the flare. In the past, we had a future rab. No, we don't, because if you keep going the way you're going, you're going to be dead in six months, whereas I will still be vertical. Now... Well, wait. Are my seams straight? Ah, your seams are straight. Wait a minute. Why are you wearing stockings with seams for? Because it draws attention to the line of the leg. Whose attention? Anybody that wants to look. Employers, satires, white slave traders, retired accountants from Mulgai. In short, the wonderfully wicked world of men. Ah, oh, men. <laughs> men that don't have a label tied to their big toe. Well, I'll say this for you, lady. You're no half coping well with a grieving process. I'm not even dead yet. And you're already out in a sniff. If life is a drama, Rab, I am in my third act. I don't have time to waste on regrets. One out, one in. That's the way it goes. And if you'll excuse me, I have to take a business call. On a Sunday? Well, that'll be the undertaker, lately. You'll be looking for a leg over at a graveside. <laughs> Hello? Mock the ming, ditch the dirt, say sign in order to shite. You're through to the house mice. Mary Mouse speaking, how can I help you? Mary, it's Ella. I'm at the golf club bar. The seniors' tournament's just ended. It's like they've opened up all the coffins and the zombies are just climbing out. I see. And is you know who they're the new at the said premises? Yeah. I see him. Pringle jumper and dodgy hip. <laughs> know that that narrows it doing any. Well, please tell the said client that I shall be there pronto. If anything arises, I shall call him on my cockberry. I mean, uh, blackberry. <laughs> well, we might have Freudian slut there as I know. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm watching you, lady. I'm watching you. Whatever. <laughs> In the name of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, I baptise you Marvin, Tamazepam, <laughs> Bullock the Dog, Pure Quality. My boy's been here all night. Ten pound deal, McMenemy. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I can't allow drinking in the church. Oh, uh, sorry, Reverend. It's just, well, we're in the rain. Uh, we're just waiting in the drop-in centre opening. No. But the drop-in centre? Well, I'm afraid that closed last week. Where? Aye. The council cut its funding. You'd have known that. You'd have been too busy lately. Lying, steaming in your own pish. It was somebody else's pish. <laughs> Folks, please. <laughs> if I may make so bold, I'm afraid my colleague has domestic difficulties. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. His good lady is a cleaner who has lately become popular at the golf club where she is affectionately known as the 19th hole. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I'm trying to get you drunk so I can take advantage. <laughs> well, lots of luck. <laughs> 
For the past 40 years, there's been nothing there about except Rab and a doctor spatula. <laughs> oh, that salty working class humour. I love it. <laughs> but, Mary, you know, I have reached the age when I can afford the good things in life, and I would like that special someone to enjoy them with. Do you mean that? I'm more than just a cleaner to you. We could go out on mixed fours together. As soon as you get some clubs. Well, I'm working on a putter at the very minute. When will you have it? As soon as the park keeper at Bella Houston turns his back. Oh, you <laughs> and your earthy, spirited ways. I love it. Oh, here, steady. You'll have me in my back. Oh, that would never do, would it? Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Right. What's his name? What do you mean? There's something going on here. The crab try and be mature. A marriage should be about communication, no recrimination. A marriage should be based on trust, where two people decide that what they are. Oh, 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 what are you doing? I'm checking your label. If you'd put the knackers back on inside you, I was going to be trouble, lady. <laughs> there is the end, Ailes. Ah, garbage. It's a monkey theory, and it's a monkey theory. Women never let go of one branch until they've got a hoddy another again. Now, what is his name? I am not telling you, and you are never going to beat it out of me. You watch oh! me, lady. I'll tell oh, it oh, you. Oh, oh, all right, all right. It's Kendra. Kendra? What the hell kind of name is that? Is he a man or a teletubby? He's a gentleman. <laughs> A retired accountant. Oh, that's enough of that. You're giving me the boat now. Oh, he has appreciated me a lot more than you ever have. Oh. 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 You hear that? You hear that? A retired accountant chucked for a corpse that does arithmetic. <laughs> he had bloody drawbins so. there. That was my finest sir, Jamesy. That was my... Archie Gamble moment, you know. For once, for once, I did something with my life. Twice. Don't forget, at the Governalke Sports Day, we beat all comers at pushing highest up the Job Centre wall. <laughs> uh, right, so we did. <laughs> Mr Nesbitt! Oh, Christ, is that holy bastard. He puts me right off my swirly. I'm off ski. Oh, James, you don't leave me here. All right, Reverend. Uh, uh... Uh, Mr Nesbitt, I thought you'd like to know. I've been speaking to the local council about the community centre. Yeah. Well, they're saying that it'll cost around £10,000 to get it up and running again. 10 k mm. We've no got that kind of money. Dear God. The only people that are working in here are drug dealers and, and you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. How about it, bro? What's your chances? I don't think so. Oh, come on. Listen up. Chucking your money away is a marvellous feeling. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I'm humped, but I'm happy. <laughs> yes, so I see. I'm sorry, but I have commitments. <laughs> I'm sure you do. But they're obviously no the people are governing, eh? Well, if you're not going to help, I will. Mr Nesbitt, I can see that you mean well, but I fear the monks of Buckfast Abbey have seen the best of you. Should you buy the now? You hear that there? You hear that? I mean, it doesn't matter how nice natured the man is, does it? The mere act of putting on a dog collar I mean, turns him into a, a condescending wank. <laughs> hey, I'm talking car boot sale here. Hey? Eh? MD got a motor? No. MD, no MD with a motor? No. MD and MD's family ever caressed or knowingly fondled a motor? No. I got hit with a motor once. <laughs> and uh, by some happy twist of fate, is the boot still lodged up your pumper and ready to be adapted as a useful sales emporium? No. Oh, well, that kind of rules that out as a possible source of group largesse, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah, glick it, wet brained article that you are. <laughs> But why did the council have to shut our wee place down? I mean, what's 10k to them? Rab, if you want to see a real fanny merchant, clock this. That bam for the council. Uh, uh, 
it is a time of harsh austerity and we are all suffering. That is why I've put together a select band of city councillors who will report to me once a month in the sauna suite of the Elysium Hotel in Mykonos. Last year, on our fact-finding mission to the discos of Gran Canaria, many people came... You see what we're up against? Aye, we're humped. I might as well just get blutered. Shut your ass! We are not getting blutered. Was Jesus blutered when he threw the money lenders out the temple? Hey. Well, fair enough, it probably was, but that's not a point. You see when I see bams like that? I know what we've got to do. We've got to get medieval here. We've got to shame these bastards. We've got to use every trick in the book to make these bastards squirm. I could offer them sex. What? I'll have a bath first. I'll tell you this. If Jesus was around the day, I know fine well what he'd have done. And the way I'm feeling... I might just do a bloody shame. What? Hey, what's going on? What are you up to in there? None of your business, bugger off. Oh, what is all the noise about? I've got a woman in here. That was a napper banging off the heat board. <laughs> Oh, see, yesterday you were wanting a divorce. No, no, you're worried. What's the matter? Kenzie take fright once you had his car axe fixed. Get out of my bloody way. Good almighty. No quite. But you're on the right lines. Forget Jimmy Hill, Demon Hill, or Blueberry Hill. For me, there will only ever be the one hill. The governor, Vince, who you all just heard there on the alley crewing so sweet, you'll greet her. We're still here with our local man, Rab. Rab, what first prompted you Like to... a council, that's who prompted me, boy. Like a bloody council. Bunch of bloody wanks. That's who they are. Bunch of wanks. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've nothing against and, you know, I mean, see, in the past, I could have f***ed her scolding. But see these f***ers, see these f***ers, these f***ers are spit roasting the bloody lawyers. Commonwealth f***ing games, is it? Commonwealth f***ing games. They can't get us 10k, 10k for a f***ing drop-in centre. Oh. That's got bloody coons. Well, you see them, you see them sitting there with a f***ing Uri Expense accounts and a f***ing Hugo Boss f***ing dinners. They give me the f***ing dry boat and a f***ing boat. There you are. Here's Michael Bibley with <laughs> Song for Me. He's a f***ing f***ing <laughs> on. Forget him, Mary. He'll only make you unhappy. Oh, he has pulled some serious stunts in the past, but crucifixion? I'm worried sick, Kendrew. I uh, know. Me too. Now spread your thighs a bit more uh -huh. and lean forward over the putter. <laughs> Getting some serious body heat there, Kendrew. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right. Now, am I wiggling my hips enough? Oh, you can never wiggle your hips too much in my book. Right. Now, that's good. Just hold that pose there. That's, that's... <laughs> oh, you have a seriously good ass. Did I say arse? I meant stance. What am I like? I'm beginning to wonder. Look, can we play the bloody shot or no? Oh, yes, of course, of course. Now then, give me a nice swivel. Uh -huh. And four. Oh, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to learn, Huggies. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that, that's just the way documentary I taped last night inside Nature's Giants. <laughs> What do you 
say to critics who argue that what you're doing is poverty porn, the exploitation of the poor is gratuitous entertainment? Well, I'm poor. So that must mean I'm exploiting myself, you know? Heartless bastard that I am. <laughs> Mind you, I can't speak for my manager. And who is your manager? Uh, that's me, sweetheart. <laughs> James Villeneuve Aaron Cotter. As Rab's closest disciple, I will be doing my utmost to make sure that this doesn't degenerate into some tawdry circus. Which is why this hand-painted, dishwasher-friendly JC Meets Rabsy mug is nothing <laughs> but the best. Maybe an iconic gift for your boyfriend? I, uh, I, I don't have a boyfriend. Me neither. We've got so much in common. <laughs> Rab, when the time comes, don't think you'll have died in vain. I could get a pump out of this. <laughs> that makes it all worthwhile. Have you any idea how damaging this could be for the city's image? Oh, I'm a hell of a sorry. I didn't mean to drag morals into public life, no. Don't you get all high and mighty with me, sitting there all culturally macho because you drink pints? Well, I may seem like another council now to you, but believe you me, I work out. Listen, you know what I'm after. You're closing with drop-in centres and we want them back. Are you mad? This city has to find 500 million for the Commonwealth Games. Think about it. 2,000 Africans pitching up at the height of the Glasgow summer. Have you got any idea what the heating bills will be like? What if I bought 10k a pop to throw away on public health? Listen, I'll come clean here. I do not want to kill myself. Come on. Which 10k to the council? I will tell you what I told the press pack at our austerity summit in Marbella. <laughs> the Govan Dropping Centre was an unfortunate victim of very necessary cuts in expenditure. We must all make sacrifices. Savvy? All right. All right. How bloody well dare then? I'll show you up for the scummy bastard you are. As a citizen, you can say what you want, but you can't do what you want. You attempt this blasphemy and I'll have you arrested. There. Swear on the sanctity of my council expenses claim form. <laughs> you have to. Swear. All right. All right. I promise not to crucify myself. <sighs> Finally. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a city to run and a cummerbund to buy. Cheerio. <laughs> it's therapy. See that there, eh? <laughs> Some people walk the line. Others snort it up their wee pink snouts. I'm not going to let this bastard beat me. You will love the burning of the male witch in Govan. Bring the family for a day of joy and laughter and a fat bastard getting his ass scots. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm advertising a show. It's no a show. It's a heroic action. Do <laughs> you tell me? I've got majorettes booked and everything. I've taken the main suit of school for this. I even sent a tweet to that Simon Kibble. This could have been a glittering showcase for their multi bastard talents. You gonna let them do the way you did us? I will know why he's down. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Rab. Mm. Mary would be proud of you. Well, that's if she wasn't pumping on another guy. <laughs> What's his name again? Kendrew. What? Kendrew! <laughs> Mary, quelle surprise. Kendrew, it's just, well, 
I've been having a wee think to myself about what happened the other day. Oh, have you? And, uh... I don't really want to talk about it out here in the steppe. Certainly not before the watershed. Oh, why not? There may be scenes of a sexual nature. Oh, next to me. Come in. <laughs> Welcome to Ravavart in stunning Jamesy Vision. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I would just like to welcome the world's press here to govern the day. <laughs> and I would just like to say that I have no regrets in what I'm doing. I just, well, I just want to leave the world a better place than I found it. And, uh, I love you all. Jimsy of Orléans, are you ready? Ramp of Restitution Street, say the word. Right, let's do it. I am. Touching Terry Towling here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is an unexpected pleasure. <laughs> I'm forgiven. All pleasures are unexpected, including this one. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a hobby. <laughs> a lot of my ladies were most happy to oblige. They needed the extra pin money. You rotten bastard! You were grooming me! Oh, no, Mary. None of these other cleaners meant anything to me. It was nothing personal. Oh, really? Well, neither's this, then. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, Kendra. Oh, oh, wait. Are you all right? Oh, Kendra, speak to me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I can see your knuckles. <laughs> are, you, are you ready, Rob? I am ready. Jimsy, I'd like to say that you have been a great friend to me. Thanks, pal. I'd like to see you back, Annie. <laughs> because you've been a dirty, rancid Torah right down the line. Well, that's no black hairs rubbing. Jumble up the words. There's a compliment in there somewhere. Right, Jimmy. Let's do it. And whatever happens, don't stop. I don't want to lose my nerve. Oh, no, no, the other buggies. Hang on. Oh, you rab of Ark. Oh, I just because I'm standing in a bonfire. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You set fire your hoose a couple of times and they never let you forget it. Aye, Rab's a qualified arsonist. He's got to practice somewhere. Aye, that shoe's all over. Make note as if we're some kind of inbreeds just because we're forgiven. Very few of us are inbreeds here. Most of them are up the bingo. <laughs> I want this circus broken up. No. On what grounds? We've every right to protest. On health and safety grounds, the public must be protected. I know your face. Are you a fat hobby city? I'm Simon Bird, your council leader. <laughs> At this moment, I should be working tirelessly for Glasgow by attending the stage premiere of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. On my command, unleash hell. Priscilla's a beak! Give us back my doping center! Okay, unleash hell. Release the scratch cards! <laughs> No hard feelings, Biffo, but Glasgow's a modern, thriving metropolis. We don't want throwbacks like you sullying its image. 
We can't have class martyrs on my watch. But you, on your way, unless you want to end up in the back of that van getting a right good boot up your knickers. Hurry! Hurry, I'm going, I'm going. I realise I can't even fight City Hall. I'll say this. You're the ugliest pole dancer I've ever seen. Here, have a pint on me. Oh, thanks very much. I bow to your superior authority. <laughs> oh, oh, hell of a story. I'll just away and get some help. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like we spot a violent slapstick for making you feel even with life. <laughs> oh, a photo opportunity. <laughs> After scum and scum. <laughs> you know, when Mr Nesbitt told me that he planned to raise funds to reopen the centre, I admit I had my doubts. But then I went home and I prayed. And you know, I like to think that God answered my prayers. He answered my prayers and all. And lo, two wise men did come from the East End. Uh, Mr Nesbitt, I understand your benefactors are very busy men who can't be with us today, uh, but perhaps you'd like to tell us how this wonderful project came to touch their hearts. Surely, <coughs> of course. <coughs> Our uh, benefactors are actually two young thrusting businessmen who started out with nothing but well, a spy hole and an Alsatian dug. <laughs> and they actually heard me on the Alley Cruin show making a heartfelt plea for tolerance and human understanding. And not to put too fine a point on it, they were fucking moved. <laughs> An inspirational tale. Uh, uh, but, Mr Nesbitt, uh, what business is it that your colleagues are actually in? Oh, uh, the clues in the tale. Just draw the curtains. <clears throat> well, it uh, gives me great pleasure to declare this drop-in centre open. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's true what they say. There's a little bit of good in the worst of us. You skanky bastard! <laughs> and a little bit of bad in the best of us. <laughs> Mary, <clears throat> pumped any geriatrics lately? <laughs> oh, no. Look, get yourself doing these shops and get a loaf, a pint of milk and a pan of mince for the night's tea. I'm awaiting my work. <laughs> That's Govan for I love you, by the way. <laughs> Business as usual? I think so. That being the case, beat it. <laughs>